What's up? It's your boy Grand Dizzy here. Welcome to this new episode of the unboxing of my new Salomon Ultimate Riding Shoes. Now, I know exactly what you guys are thinking about. Like, oh, Grant, this is not a riding boot. Well, guess what? It is for me. Anytime I want to get on my bike, I see myself going for these boots. Like, I have so many boots in my closet that I, I, I ride with from time to time. But this one right here, I always see myself going towards it. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because the old one that I have that I use it to ride, which I'm going to show you in a little bit, I think it's time for me to retire. And if I say I have, you know, different boots, let me show you one. This is my uh, Palladium. This is extremely lightweight. And look at the logs. It is extremely comfortable. And I use this for both a professional and casual settings. I take it anywhere. But this is not what I use to ride. This right here is the Solomon Speed Cross. And this is the shoes that I, or boots that I always see myself gravitating towards to any time I get on my bike. Guys, I don't know how many times I wear these boots, but I have a lot of thousands of miles on these boots. I bought these boots since 2018. This right here is been to Africa. <laughs> it's been to London. I've been a lot of places with these boots, okay? And anytime I want to go for a ride, I see myself using these boots like over and over and over again. Um, look at look look at the bottom. I'm not even ashamed to show you, but I feel proud because look at all the um the chevron, the locks. It's gone, and I'm gonna show you how the new one look like. But um, this is extremely comfortable for me, and the reason why I use these Solomon boots is because I don't want to go to the bike store and buy a specific boot for for my motorcycle. I want to be able to use the boots. Even if I'm not riding. Now, I'm very lucky to live in a state where we don't have, practically, we don't have no riding season. And I know most of you guys out there do have your riding seasons. I don't. Okay. But let's just say if I do have a riding season and my riding season is over and I want to put away my bike, I want to be able to still use my shoes or my boots. And getting like a, a motorcycle boots, I feel like I'm tied to that. And I, I don't want to feel like that. So I chose this. This is good for hiking. Look, I have another one. I'm going to show you guys. This is another Solomon that I've had. And if you look at the bottom, you see the logs. I've only had this since 2021. Um, the reason why I don't use this to ride most of the time is because of the way it's built. This is more like tactical, okay? So I use this. Mostly when I go to uh, the shooting range and um, other activities, riding my bicycle, you know, doing some uh, hikes here and there. That is where I see me using this. I, I, I don't use this for my motorcycle uh, because of the way it's built. I don't know why, but the speed cross is the only one that I see myself gravitating towards to. And this year, I think it's time for me to retire, guys. It's been all over. I mean, you saw the bottom. It's... It's gone. And even with that, I'm still using it. It's waterproof. Three days ago, I was in the, in the office. They were doing some work in the warehouse. I walk in there. They had a puddle of water. And they was telling me, oh, my goodness, you're going to get wet. You, you, I said, don't worry about it. Man, I walk in that water, came back, shook my leg, done. That's how good it is. So we're going to do the unboxing for this new one here. Um, but, see, before I do that, guys... There is a, a list of stuff that I look at, you know, not only for motorcycle. Again, I don't want to be tied down to just one boot for motorcycle. No, I want to be able to use this on my bicycle, walking, running. You know, when I was active, I used to run between 18 and 22 miles uh, a week. So you can imagine how many miles on there. And even when I went to Africa, uh, Ghana to be precise, man, I was running every morning. And even right after my running, I come back, take a shower, grab me a new socks, put it back on, and I'm off. I use it. I mean, this is my fourth time, but I believe the first one that I had 
when I went home, I, get, I might have gave it to my brother, so it never came back with me. So this is what, I, uh, what I'm going to be replacing uh, it with. And look at it. This is so gorgeous. This is the Ultra 4. This is a brand new, uh, I don't know if it's a brand new or not, but if you look at the logs underneath here, you can tell the difference between my Speed Cross and even the other one, I forgot the brand, with this one. Look how beautiful it looks like. Um, I'm going to just take one, okay? I'm going to just use this one. Because it's pretty much the same. This one here feels a little bit thicker and heavier. Looking at the bottom, it feels a little solid and thicker than the Speed Cross. And I know it's not going to uh, be disappointed to me. Just look at that. It is so nice. And I promise you guys, I'm going to be reporting to you in the next, I don't know, five, six years to show you how this sustain, just like the old one. But um, the, these, these boots are solid. Like, they feel very comfortable. Um, I have zero issue. Like, look at the logs too. You know, I have zero issue. Like I said, I ride with this one, but I don't know because of the way it's built. So I rarely use it. But this one right here is the king, guys. If you look, there's a lot of wear and tear. And I have beat the, you know what, out of these shoes. And it's sad for me to say goodbye to it finally. But, guys, this is going to be the replacement. And you guys can see how solid this is built. And looking at this one, they are very beautiful. They can be a little pricey, but you pretty much get what you pay for. That's what they say. So there is a lot of, let me take all these out of here. I want to be able to buy a boot or a shoe that can be able to do it all. Again, I don't want to be tied to only riding the season or I don't want to be tied down to um, just being on my motorcycle alone. No, I want to be able to use this to run. I want to use this to hike. I want to use this to um, you know, pretty much do it all. That's number one that I look at. The second thing that I look at whenever I grab one of these is the durability and this the old one speaks for itself this is very durable um flexible look look how flexible it feels like so as far as durability i'm not even gonna go there because the old one that i have speak for itself so i look at um the usability and the durability let's go to the third one is the waterproofing because sometimes if you if you um hike in in a place where you have muds and puddles and things like that, you're going to want a, want a, a waterproof shoe or boots that will protect your feet so you don't get no blisters or any funky thing on your foot at the end of your hike. So this is waterproof. This is the, the, um, I believe it's the GTX. That's what I bought, but I don't see it written anywhere. But the waterproofing. It's something that I consider because if I'm riding and I get caught on the rain, I want to be able to feel good. I want to be able to feel comfortable. And this right here or the old one would do it for me. Another thing that I look at it is all terrain. You know, whether I'm going to get caught in the rain, in the snow, in the desert, which the old one been to Africa with me. And like I said, I had my first one. It went home. It never came back because my brother took it from me. He was like, man, I love these boots. I said, here, it's yours. So I want to be able to use it in the snow. I want to be able to use it in the rain. I want to be able to use it in the desert, which I never been to the desert, but I'm pretty sure this is going to survive. The traction underneath the boots. This is going to make you or break you. Now, I'm not sure if this is made with some kind of a slip resistant or anything like that, but my old one, not a single time that um, I felt like I, I kind of slipped or anything like that. Now, the only thing that I um, I found out on my old one was uh, anytime it rained and I walk in the rain and walk straight in the office on the towel, it makes some noise, like squeaky noise, like and everybody will be looking at you. They know who is coming, you know? So that is the only thing. But once the water dry, it just quiet us. You know what? You guys, the weight. 
okay this feels nothing i don't know exactly how it weighs but this is extremely light like i said the old one sometimes i don't even feel like i have anything under my foot it's extremely lightweight you know because if you have something that weighs you down yeah that can uh, contribute to the overall uh comfort so the weight is something else too that i look at it also it needs to be extremely comfort which this one don't disappoint i mean if you look at the uh the mids and the uh the console like it it feels very good yep it needs to be comfort and definitely this does not disappoint so i'm really looking forward to you know put this on and go for my first ride and many more to come so guys this i believe is the uh the end of the unboxing for this uh new salomon my ultimate riding boots um again i don't want to walk into harley and buy me a riding boots from harley and um it's only gonna be solely for riding i, I don't want to do that you know i want something very versatile something that i can use it anywhere like right now i'm about to step out i want to be able to put it on and when i come back and i decide to go for a ride i want to be able to grab it throw it on and use it i don't want to be tied down to only one thing so thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing and i'll see you later in my next video adios